Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about texture displacement. In version 189, there's something different to the versions before. Okay, so here, for example, this is texture displacement, such scales, and so, and this is also texture displacement. Okay, how to do this? I start with a new scene and I delete the sphere and let's use the tube. So I create a path and yeah. Let's play a little bit with the tube. Maybe like this. So now we need a texture. So search uh, pictures uh, for texture, seamless, dragon scales. So I downloaded this image here and I use it as a texture. Here you see the tube has a UV map. So now we can place a texture. And I use the scales. So now I place the texture here and maybe a little bit bigger. So, okay. As long as you don't need the displacement, you can use the tube and yeah, create your path or yes, or every other object. So, but when you need your displacement, you have to validate your object. So validate, and now we need uh, a much higher. Uh, mesh, so I use multi resolution and I subdivide it up to a million. Okay, so the next thing is we need a displacement map. For this texture here, I use um, normal map online, the link is in the description. So you can upload here your, your image and here you can select uh, the map you want. So I use this placement map. So I inverted the map and I blurred it a little bit like this. And, and you can play a little bit with the contrast so like you want. And then download the map. Here I download it. And now we have our texture, but we have no displacement slot here. So you have to use the opacity slot for this. And now import your displacement map. And now you see your object is now yeah, transparent a little bit. Okay, but this is okay. In the MISC menu here, it's now possible to reproject the vertex. On a, so we need here for this opacity to mask option. Okay, so the rest here is deselected and uh, use this setting, this is okay, or play with it. So now we reproject from itself. So when you now use the gizmo, you see here uh, there's a mask on the mesh. For this displacement, I use always um, the inflate scale tool here. This is a custom tool. 
So there's a other tutorial on inflate scale. So and now I brush along the mesh. So now we get the displacement and I use the round all tool and smooth the whole thing a little bit. Okay. Now the opacity mask we can delete. So this is what you get. Okay. Um, yeah, this is part one of the video. So you remember, uh, so here reproject opacity mask is the thing and place the texture on the opacity slot here. <clears throat> okay, so now I start again with the other object. So maybe you have more textures. So I start now with this texture. And we have all the maps, normal map. Roughness. Metalness. And of course, we have our opacity mask. Like this. So, but we want to reproject the um, <laughs> displacement map. So, we have to change the opacity mask. and bring in the displacement map. Displacement map on the opacity slot. Okay, so now it's time to validate and use more topology. Yeah, maybe a million, 1.5 million. So, and then again, opacity to mask. So I reproject now. Okay. And now we change the opacity mask. From displacement to opacity. So now it works. And the background is a mask active. So now when I use here the, the gizmo, you see here the displacement is working. So the mask is active on the whole mesh. Okay, so this was uh, the thing with, yeah, when you have an opacity mask and a displacement mask. Okay, so, and the last thing, this is very complex, so... We have not used a layer till now, so... I place now my scales texture on this mesh. Maybe like this. And our opacity, yeah, better said uh, displacement map. Okay. 
So now we use the layer thing here. So I add a layer. And we need more topology. So I use multi-resolution subdivided up to a million. Okay. So the next thing is we need a clone of this mesh. A clone. And now, yeah, now comes the important point. <laughs> so I hope, um, so when we now use the reproject thing here, and we change now to color, I think it's a color slot. So, and now we reproject from high res okay so now when we mask the color our displacement is on the color slot here is now the mask so I hope you get it. Um, so, if you want your mask here on a on a layer, on a color on the color slot, then yeah, you have to reproject from a clone here. It only works when you have a clone. From itself, it doesn't work. Okay, so now the opacity we don't need anymore. And so we. And I think I can now clear the mask. So this is a displacement and you can bring always back your, your mask. So here's on the layer, on the color layer, now the mask. Okay, <laughs> have fun with sculpting. Okay, ciao.